Ding Tai Fung fried rice. I have no idea why everybody likes it so much, but I ordered three plates today just to find out why. What's up everyone, I am Wayne Liu. Welcome to a new eating show on Itoko. I really really want to make more eating shows like this, so please help me out by subscribing to Itoko's YouTube channel or like Itoko's Facebook page. Today I am eating fried rice. I almost pronounced fried rice, but fried rice from Din Tai Fung. I have three different fried rices. I have three different fried rice here and they are all they all come with different um supporting ingredients so over here i have fried rice with pork chop and here it's basically fried rice with shrimps and this is i think it's fried rice with meat slices or like meat i don't know whatever meat basically like inside you'll find like small bits of meat and then obviously because i ordered from din tai fung you have to have the soup dumpling or known as Xiao Long Bao in Mandarin. So I have 10 over here um, and three plates of fried rice to finish. So, and then I also have my Coke here just to help me out um, when I'm like digesting or like swallowing all these rice. So let's dig in. Um, do you want to give me a bowl? I'm just gonna, before I start, I'm just gonna get some fried rice for our mysterious guest here we're gonna mix all together for you yeah okay the egg on this one actually looks more yellow than the other two Anyway, I'm gonna dig in. I'm actually gonna start with the dumplings first because I am looking forward to that more than the fried rice. I'm trying not to break it. Why it's so hard? There I go. Oh my god. Mm. Even though it cooled down because it has been sitting here for a while, it still tastes really good. I like it. Mm. I think I didn't order enough <clears throat> soup dumplings. I would love to have more. So good. Let me get started with the fried rice. This is probably the most plain out of like the three plates of fried rice that we have here. And still it smells really, really good.
<clears throat> so good. Let me rearrange the plates a little bit. Which one first? Pork chop or shrimps? No. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for the soup dumplings before she finishes everything. I'm trying to be very careful when I'm eating my rice because if I eat too fast, I'll actually end up in a hiccup. So if you don't know what, what a hiccup is, is, it's basically me going like something like this. So <clears throat> this happens every time when I'm eating rice too fast. So I'm trying to prevent that as well with our friend here. So, so I'm going to dig into the fried rice with shrimps. So the rice itself pretty much tastes similar with the plate that I had before. The only difference obviously is because it has shrimp. Shrimps in it. And the shrimp is really fresh and succulent. Basically the type of shrimps that I like the most. Do you want some shrimps? The rice tastes really good on its own, right? Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> yeah, if, even without the shrimps, I really like it. The shrimp is like a sweet bomb or like a bomb of deliciousness or freshness. The moment it like a burst in your mouth, oh my god, it's magical. The final plate. <clears throat> Still
still trying to prevent myself from having a hiccup. Um, Din Tai Fung, I think they are doing really, really well here in Malaysia. Um, they have like a few <coughs> branches all over KL and <coughs> excuse me. They have a few branches, I think, all over KL, um, PJ. I think even in they have like a couple of branches in Penang as well, if I'm not mistaken. And what they started doing is because Malaysians really like their food and they want to reach out or they want to tap into the halal or like Malay market as well. So I think they are opening up like two branches where the food they serve at these branches are actually halal. So to all my friends out there who prefer to have halal food, go for go try it out. At, I think one of them is at Pavilion. That's one branch that I've been to before. It tastes really, really good. So <clears throat> go try it out. <coughs> yeah, they have that. They have that in Pavilion. It's called Din by Din Tai Fung. Oh. Yeah, it's in Pavilion. The food actually tastes pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but obviously it's hard. Right, but. Taste-wise, it tastes equally good. Like I had noodles there. I think I had another time like fried rice there as well. It tastes really, really good. So if you guys are in Pavilion, Bukit Bintang, that area, make sure you guys go check out Tin by Tin Tai Fung. Really good. Really good food. One more, right? No, yeah, sure. I'm gonna try out the pork, <clears throat> pork chop. The longer I chew it, <clears throat> the more delicious it is because the juice just started oozing out. It started like oozing out from the meat. It's incredible. Again, like I mentioned, I really, really like what I really, really like is the amount. I think they just use egg yolk when they're frying the rice because you see a lot of like egg yolks in them. Just check this out. A lot of egg yolk. And it makes the fried rice like golden in color as well. It's really, really nice. Really good work. That's a huge bite. <clears throat>
I think this one they have like small meat slices among the rice as well so I can really taste them it gives you some bits of like surprises here and there which is really cool and I started becoming more <clears throat> active on both YouTube and Facebook lately what I started to realize is that there is a a small difference between the audience that you can reach on both of these platforms especially when it comes to like people who are engaging with your videos on Facebook looking at the comments that I got most of them are coming from and, and by comments or engagement I mean those that are from strangers right people who are not my friends or family <clears throat> what I realized on Facebook is that a lot of the comments coming in are from like consumers meaning they, the reason why they are leaving comments in your video is to tag their friend or it's just to voice voice up like if they don't like it they will say they don't like it or they're just trolling you or they're giving you like thumbs up they're tagging their friends all that cool stuff now comments on YouTube however it almost feels like they're coming from creators because they give you feedback they write long comments by long I mean longer than Facebook for sure now on Facebook I'll get like one word comments like I want to like good job or like this is shit or like with one line sentence like one line comments but on YouTube you get really really long comments just giving you suggestion like how I be I should be placing the camera I should uh, how I should be talking less for example um, I'm also getting um, long comments just saying that they're supporting my channel because it's so new and they want to be part of it you get really cool comments like these on YouTube so these are like just the subtle differences between these two video platforms and obviously I'm indifferent as long as I get exposure <clears throat> for my eating show but just sharing if you guys want to start something like this these are like really interesting differences that I noticed the last piece of the last piece of pork let me just enjoy it <clears throat> the rice actually tastes good even after like me eating say three plates I still like it and out of the three plates that I had I think I like the one with shrimps the most I think it's because of the fact that the shrimps are fresh they are really succulent they are really chewy as well it's just a nice combination of like the three factors I like that the most and yeah oh but I still like this more than fried rice with shrimps I will probably order more the next time I do it anyway I'm super glad that I'm done with another eating show on Itoko and I hope you enjoy this show that's pretty much it if you like this show please give me a thumbs up or click on the like button until the next time tell me what is your favorite food in the comment section and also please remember to subscribe bye